Hello YouTube, Tim here. I know we already draw tested my latest PVC Turkish bow. I'm getting ready to send it away to somebody to enjoy, I hope. But, in the meanwhile, I wanted to test and see what the effects were of putting the handle and leather on. Incremental weight gain is approximately 60 grams. Most of that concentrated right in the handle section. So, that's the epoxy, of course, from the handle, creating the a nice rounded shape. This handle is a little on the large side for a traditional Turkish bow. However, here's my justification. The bow is a little bit longer than some of the shorter bows of the style, and furthermore, users, modern users, are a little bit larger. So yes, a traditional Turk, that is, you know, a Turk of 200 years ago or 500 years ago, say, would have shot a, a bow perhaps 42, 44 inches knock to knock, and they might have drawn it 26 inches, 24, 26 inches, maybe a little bit longer, but they were on average shorter than we were. Just statistically, you'll find that modern people tend to be a little bit taller. So it might not be unreasonable to say that all of the dimensions of the bow could be scaled up somewhat without becoming untraditional. That's my defense of that. But let's see exactly what happened to the bow in terms of draw weight. I'm going to test its force draw curve and then we can go ahead and compare that to the original. In the show notes down below I'll link back to the original video and we'll, uh, we'll analyze it. Right now we have seven, just over seven inches and once this is hanging on it, seven and a half inches of brace height. Okay, zero pounds obviously. First of all, to 8 inches, 1.8, 1.9 pounds. 10 inches, 7.2. 12 inches, 11.35. 14 inches, 14.75, I'm sorry about that. 16 inches. 18.85 pounds, 18 inches, 22.25 pounds, and just before I let go it got up to 22.3 pounds, 20 inches, 24.25 pounds, 22 inches, 27.9 pounds, 24 inches, 31.9 pounds, 26 inches, 36.25 pounds, and rapidly varying at that point, rapidly decreasing. So. Let's try again, 20, 24, and then 26. Also, let's try 26 and a quarter for a true AMO, 28. We could also try drawing to a full 28 inches. Shouldn't really matter. I don't remember if I did the first time. 20. 24.25 pounds. 24 inches. 31.35 pounds. 26 inches, 36.75 pounds, let it rest for a second, and 26 and a quarter, 36.8 pounds, statistically the same thing as 26 inches. Now, let's try 27 inches. 37.9 pounds. When first drawn, it would have been a 38 pound solid on. 
I'm fairly confident we can get it that final inch to 28, meaning it'll draw almost a 30 inch AMO. However, I don't see the, the need to do that since we didn't do it in the first test and it's not intended to draw that far. Great. The bow is light, roughly in the, uh, the weight range that I was aiming for. I'm very pleased by that. I hope you can see it. Let me make sure that the bow is... Oh great, the camera's out of focus. There it is, okay. I don't know how many of you have seen the bow, but here it is. Here's some of the design on it. The floral work, green leaves, gold vines, and complementary color. So in the red it's yellow and white flowers, and in the yellow it's red and white flowers making a nice pink. So there it is. This is the bow. Now let's see if it focuses back on me. Great. Seven inch brace height, that's the force draw curve. We'll compare that to the original and see exactly what the consequence of the handle was. It's a beautiful bow and I really, really think it's fun to, fun to shoot. It's so comfortable. I, in case you didn't hear, I'm having a little contest. It's not a YouTube contest per se, but I'm announcing it here since I have more viewers here than anywhere else. If you want a bow like this, maybe a little different, we can work on that, go to the, a PVC Archery and Crafting Forum. It is forum.pvcarchery, one word, dot o-r-g, forum.pvcarchery.org. In there, and I'll put the link right in the show notes below, so if you say you can't find the post, just look in the notes below. What you're going to want to do is go to the post under the contest section in, under PVC Archery and just say, I want a bow. And come May 30th, I will draw from all the people who have said I want a bow. And I'll see who's getting a bow. Uh, I'm looking very much forward to making somebody a cool bow. It could be like this one. It could be just a little different depending on what somebody wants. You know, Again, I'll talk with people and I will ship it to them for free. It's fun. I like bows, I like archery, and I hope I can share some of this excitement with you guys. Also, it's a good way to get you guys over to at least check out the forum. It's a different format than the Google Plus PVC Archery and Crafting community, which is a great way to share images and chit-chat. This is a little bit more for long-form communication and collaboration and, like for instance, one of the posts I'm doing is I'm simply making an index of styles of bow, for example, uh, Nick's Yumi Hand or my Turkish style bows, build alongs, an index of build alongs with links to YouTube videos. That's something you really can't do on Google. So this is pretty cool. I'm hoping it'll be a great place in complement to the other places that are available for us to discuss our passion and share our interest in archery. So come on over. If you want the bow, go to the contest section linked below and say, I want a bow. I will ship it to you anywhere in the US for free, anywhere in the world. Under $20 shipping, I'll ship for free. And beyond that, if you happen to be, I don't know, in Iceland, and let's just say it's a little bit too long to ship cheaply, I, all I'd ask is that you cover anything over $20 shipping. But everything else, totally on the house. My pleasure, and thank you all for being a part of my, my little adventure here. Tune in again, and we'll have more information both on the contest and otherwise. Thanks for watching, YouTube.